Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Wolfpack 32 Pack 13. The Pack 13 stands for the garage size on this camper, so it comes with a 13 foot garage. This camper comes in at 37 feet, 5 inches tongue to bumper and weighs just over 9,700 pounds empty. As we get started up front here, we have your power tongue jack with the LED light so you can see at night time when you're hooking up. Two 20 pound LP tank bottles have the hard shell cover with the quick access lid and those will be filled by the Outpost RV. Directly behind me, we have your deep cycle marine battery that comes with it. And behind that, there's a red key. That is your 12 volt cutoff switch. So you can kill all 12 volt power to the battery on this model. We have the gel coated fiberglass sidewalls here. This is gonna have the generator prep. So uh, if you don't get the generator optioned in, which we do not on the travel trailers, uh, it becomes a great storage compartment area. They are also prepped for your Furion side marker cameras. So you can have the camera here and in the back and all the way around for the 360 view. We have electric jacks, two in the front, two in the back. This one switch will run the front two jacks up and down. And how that works, you hold the extend button. One jack will come down and hit the ground first. The other one will come down and they will equal out in pressure. We are pet friendly. We have your leash latch here for the furry family members to tag along. Underneath is an LP quick disconnect. So if you have a portable gas grill, you can take it with you, plug in right there and utilize the gas on the camper. We have this huge power awning behind me with the LED accent light. Each leg is adjustable. That way if the sun's coming down, you can adjust the pitch of the awning there. Sturdy steps getting inside where each leg is adjustable as well. Oversized grab handle that actually drops down even lower now to help you in and out of the camper. We have this black tempered glass entrance door. It's got the full size screen door and then an integrated window as well. As we move around the slide here, we're going to have your entertainment center with your TV connection. Down below, same TV bracket as what's inside, outside speakers. Um, we do have the center cap popped off here. As you can see, there are the quick, easy lube axles. All four wheels are going to have self adjusting brakes and a tire pressure monitoring system. How that'll work is this will turn red if you're low on air. So we will unscrew that to demonstrate. That way you can just walk around and do a visual check before you head off for your next destination. Back here is gonna be the other switch for your electric jacks. We do have ventilation in the garage area. There'll be one on the other side so you can get cross ventilation if you have something in the back with fumes. And another leash latch back here. Moving to the back, we have the patio system all set up for you. These steps are included as well. We also have the three seasons door optioned in on this model. Up top, we have the LED light as a porch light or to help you if you're loading up your toys there. And again, it is prepped for a camera in the back. This camper right up top is also prepped for a roof ladder. You can get a telescoping ladder that'll hook right in there for roof maintenance purposes. It is equipped with a 30 gallon fuel station. So you have your fuel nozzle in here, your fuel pump to turn it on and off. And then of course, to fill up the 30 gallon fuel cell. Underneath, we're gonna have your sewer hose holder. That way you can store that underneath when not in use. This is a 50 amp unit and it will come with a 25 foot detachable power cord. Up top there is actually the other vent for that cross ventilation. We have your on-demand water heater, which is gas only since it's on-demand, but about 60% more efficient than what, we, what we've used in the past and goes over great for us. Outside shower with hot and cold water. This is a low pressure outside shower. We also have a high pressure outside shower here with the multi-sprayer nozzle. That way if you wanna clean off any of your toys, this is what you would use for that. Your water filling station, we have your city water up top, where if you're at a campground, you just hook up the water hose and that'll pressurize your lines. We have your fresh water tank over here. So if you're gonna be dry camping or boondocking, you can fill up the almost 100 gallon fresh water tank on here, turn on your water pump and use that water as well. We also have your black tank flush. So when you're done camping for the week or weekend, you hook your water hose up here and that'll clean out the tank for you. We have your furnace vent, cable connections. That way, if they offer that wherever you're at, you can tap right into that as well. And last but not least, underneath the slide up here, we're gonna have a lot more storage as well. That concludes our outside walkthrough of the 32 pack 13 Wolf Pack. Now we'll take a look at the inside. And now we will take a look at the inside. This is a great floor plan. Got a separate bedroom area in the front, separate garage in the back. Nice and open, lots of space in here. 
We'll get started right over here in the slide room. We have your zebra blinds on all three sides. So you can leave those darkened or partially open to let some sunlight in, sunlight in there. We have your theater seating, which is also the heated massage chairs. And those do recline. 12 volt charge port over here and your light switch as well. We're gonna have the door going back into the garage. Down below is your CO2 detector. Right up above that, we have your digital thermostat for the air and furnace. And then above that um, is gonna be for your stereo. It is Bluetooth, so you can play music off your phone. And then you have zone one and two right there to choose the inside or outside speakers. Entertainment center, the connections up above, have lots of storage down below, plenty of drawers as well. You can see a furnace duct down here at the bottom right. And in the kitchen area, we have lots of counter space. You can see the high rise faucet that comes with the pull out sprayer as well. Kitchen counter, have the sink cover, Nice farmhouse style sink here. Plenty of storage underneath. We have your kitchen window, decorative black backsplash, couple 110 outlets, more storage up above. We have your microwave, range vent that will vent to the outside. Three burner stove with the oven. It does have a glass cover, so you can use that as prep space as well if you're not cooking. We have your fuel gauge here for that 30 gallon fuel station furnace down below underneath the refrigerator we have your breakers and fuses we have your 12 volt refrigerator which is 12 volt only but it is much deeper than the gas electric because it does not need the same ventilation as the gas so we can go all the way back to the wall here giving you lots of space again this is a 12 volt refrigerator the camper itself is equipped with 300 watts of solar on the roof already, and that will help you to run the refrigerator while traveling, and if you are not hooked in to shore power. Right over here, this will be right inside the entrance door. We're gonna have your main control panel to see how full and empty your tanks are. Turn your lights on and on, water pump, run the slide room and awning in and out. We have 12 volt heated pads on the tanks underneath. So on the right, you can turn that switch on and turn on the 12 volt heating pads and a voltmeter up here to keep an eye on your batteries. There are two ways into the bathroom. We'll step in right here. In the bathroom, we are gonna have a max air vent fan up top that is controlled with the remote here. Light switch, thermostat for your on-demand water heater. So you can turn it on and off there and adjust the temperature as well. Right inside to the left, you can see we have the toilet, which is at an angle in here. Sink area. We have storage down below. 110 outlet right here in the bathroom area as well. Medicine cabinet. Lots of great storage in here. Up above, we do have that large max air vent fan. And that is a multi-speed, does a great job. In the shower, we have this high pressure sprayer here. We have your hot and cold water on off down below. And the shower surround with the curtain to pull. We can also go right into the bedroom. We have this sliding pocket door here. In the bedroom, we're going to have your pack king bed here. Shelves on both sides. 110 outlet. I'm sorry, 12 volt charge ports up there by the bed. 110 outlet over here on the bottom left hand corner. Moving up into the front, we are going to have a built in dresser. Lots of storage here. We got a couple 110 outlets up there. As you can see, plenty of storage down below. If you were to option in the generator, you could turn that on and off right down below. A little bench area. Again, more storage over here. We have hanging storage that goes all the way across. And another little shelf over here. You can add a TV in here if you wanted to. The connections are up top. And we can hang it on the wall right there. 
Again, with the decorative sliding doors here in the bedroom area. Up top, we do have a 12 volt outlet up there. And we will now move through the kitchen area here. And we will take a look at the back. I'd also like to point out, we have two 15,000 BTU air conditioners on this camper. Since it is a 50 amp unit, we have both air conditioners already on here. They are ducted together. So as you can see the second one right back here. So when you're running the AC in the back, it is also forcing air up to the front and vice versa. That three seasons door, you can see we got the screens partially open there. We have the bunk bed system back here, the happy jack, windows with the darkeners already on them. Couple sofas down below. We have the table in the middle here, and this will turn into another sleeping area for you. In the back, we got great windows back here. We have another window over here, and that's how those covers work. They just snap on and snap off. The bed lift system, couple light switches. Lots of room back here. Patio door really opens everything up. Over here, we have another 110 outlet. Also a place where you could dock a Bluetooth speaker if you wanted to. Vent up top. You can also add a TV back here. The connections are up top. Also, if you want to add a camera back here in the garage so you can keep an eye on your toys as you're traveling, you could do so. Another thermostat to control the air conditioner in the back here. And then, of course, we have your half bath. Lots of storage here. Sink area, we have another Max Air fan up top. Try to get a look at that remote. It's gonna be the same remote as up in the other bathroom. And of course the toilet down below. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Wolf Pack 32 Pack 13. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338. 9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.